Welcome to Ruby Thursday. I'm Melissa Wanish. Today's video is titled Dev Gems Demo RSpec Rails. In this series, I'll be taking you through different gems that I highlighted in my Get Launching series. So if you haven't had a chance to check that out, please do and be sure to sign up to get your free Get Launching Cheat Sheet. So here's a recap of the gem file from that. And today we're just focusing on RSpec Rails. RSpec Rails installs RSpec especially for Rails with the generator to create necessary files. And you'll see what I mean a little later in the demo where we'll take you through creating a spec. And here's the web address for the GitHub repository. And they have a lot of great information there. Be sure to check it out. If we scroll on down, we'll see some installation information as well as lots of examples on different types of specs. For today, let's just check our setup and make sure that we have our spec installed and everything is set up. Let's jump over into our terminal where we will cd into the repository. So I'll be using Ruby Thursday today. And now I will copy and paste the command to generate the RSpec install. I've already actually run this command, but you'll see if it's new for you that it'll install different files and folders. I have it there, so I will skip it and move on. We'll move now into our text editor where we will check out the files that were created by the generator, the Rails helper and the spec helper. In the Rails helper, we will be sure to require our spec Rails in order to use our spec in our project. Now onto some fun stuff, making our first spec. So we're gonna make a home spec, which is a natural place to start. We'll create the features folder and create a home spec. And I have here an example of one that tests simply for some text on the home page. Let's go back to the editor where we will make that folder. So make a new folder and we will call it features. That's what you use for behavior driven development. So we'll add that and then I'll control new to add the new file that will be our spec. So let's go ahead and save it. So we will, oh, let's make sure it's in features. Go ahead and call it home underscore spec dot RB. I like to go ahead and save so that whenever I type in the file, the formatting is already there. Let's go back to the presentation and go ahead and copy paste. Let's move back to our text editor where we will paste in the example spec. And let's walk through this a little bit. So at the top of every spec, we'll require the Rails helper so that all of our settings will be included. And so the feature will be visiting the home page, and the scenario will be the visitor sees the welcome text. And we're going to tell it to visit the root path. And then I'm cheating a little bit. I'm using some capybara because I know it's included in my gem file. I'm going to expect the page to have a specific text. So how do you run the specs? Well, there are a couple of ways. To run all the specs, you call rspec in the command line. To run all in a specific folder, you run rspec spec backslash the name of the folder. And to do just one spec, you call rspec spec backslash the name of the folder and the name of the specific file. So that's what we're going to do today. Moving back to the terminal, I will copy and paste that last command. And it's important to, to test for just one file because if there's something wrong with that particular file, it's going to blow up at you and tell you how your actual spec is maybe not working. So we're hoping to see a failure right now because we haven't done anything to our app. And there we go. So you can use this information as a guideline on what steps to take in order to make your spec pass. So we'll see here that uh, we need to, oh, they can't visit the root path. So that's what we'll work on first to make the spec pass. The process of testing is red, green, refactor. So we've already had our red, now we're working towards green. So to make it green, we will create the home controller with the index method and then edit the config routes to root to that home index. So back in our command line, I will copy paste the generator command for making a controller, which also makes the views for home and the method index. Take a look at what has been created. So we'll see that our spec, since we installed it, is now creating files that will help us with later testing. 
So we'll now move back to, into the text editor and edit the routes. So that's config routes. And we will change this to root to the uh, to the home index method. So let's test again. So we'll run the same command to test that one home spec and see if we get a different error. As long as we have a different error, then we are making progress. So we are. So now the error comes up that it's missing that exact text. So we know we need to modify the view. Looking back at our slide, we'll see the next step is to edit the home index file with our lovely text. So let's go and find that file in views, home index, and let's replace the standard that gets put into the view. So let's replace that with our welcome message. So welcome to Ruby Thursday and let's save and let's run the spec again. So we simply go and run the same exact spec and this time I'm hoping for some green and we do. When you have a green spec it's an excellent time to save your work. So now we're going to type in get status and see that everything is there that we're expecting. And it is, there's a lot this time because our spec created a bunch of new folders when we ran the generator to make the controller. So we're gonna get add all of it with git add dot and then git commit dash m. And what did we do today? Well, we added a home controller and also we added a root path. So I will include that in the commit message as well and root path. And of course, the next step is to push that to get hub. So get push origin master so that everything is saved. So the next step is to refactor. So let's look back in our files and to our spec and see what we can do. So what I would love for you guys to do is to, in the comments below, put what you would do to refactor, maybe test something else, maybe something that won't change as easily as text. I would love to know what you would put. Also comment on any resources that you have found about our specs that have helped you. And if you are not already on my mailing list, be sure to visit rubythursday.com and sign up so you can get Ruby Thursday awesomeness in your inbox. You'll also receive access to my Get Launching mini series and Get Launching Cheat Sheet, which takes you through launching a new app. And of course, subscribe to my YouTube channel. That would be awesome. In next week's episode, I'll take you through adding Capybara WebKit and Database Cleaner to your app. Thanks so much for watching. Have a great day.